this is the Yahagi River near where I live so I'll take the bike down to that sign there uh, and I'll lock it on the sign and then I'll go for a walk in here Fucking, I'm an idiot mate I bought my nice shoes they're gonna get muddy again well I should have bought my hiking shoes here's a, here's a place where I'm gonna lock my bike the sign on the, oh, I'll leave my helmet here too. I don't need to carry that around with me. I forgot it was on my head. If someone steals it, they're welcome to it. I want to get a new helmet anyway. It's a good excuse to get a new helmet. I want a better one. There's this wall down here I'm trying to get to. So today's talk is doing things in steps. And I'm not a motivational speaker, right? Don't get me wrong. I'm building my vlog, vlog channel on YouTube and on Facebook and everywhere. I have plans and ideas on where I want it to go. Uh, and it's not where I want it to go yet. So if you're watching this, you're probably one of the first viewers I'm ever going to have. Even though I've had many viewers already, kind of moving along. I don't have regular people come by to watch my vlogs and leave messages in the comment box below and I don't have anyone subscribe because I'm really lazy in uploading to YouTube anyway and I've got a whole bunch of list of things I need to do still on YouTube so I've got to so um, I haven't really targeted YouTube I've been on Facebook a lot just learning how to make videos so I'm walking along, see this little lip where the two concrete sheets meet, that's flat, just a little level, makes it very easy walking. I was talking about um, doing things in steps. So the very first thing I did was I used my JVC Handycam, it all started with the JVC Handycam. And then I got a, a Ryko, which I still have the Ryko and it's great. Sadly, my, my um, on off button doesn't work on my Ryko, but if you hit the record button, she switches on. Um, that's because it's been smashed around skiing and all sorts of stuff. Now, if you're watching this video, you'll realize that you're with me. Why? You're here with me at the start of the journey, at the beginning of me creating my vlog, which is really cool. And you get to watch me grow. And I'm not saying watch every video, but hey, come back and, you know, check me out now and then and see if I've got more subscribers or whatever. And, uh, you know, um, click the little bell if you want to. I mean, I haven't really gone in heavy on pushing the YouTube yet. I'm still on Facebook mostly. I'm not like a ma massive um, social social media uh, networker. Like, I don't have lots of Twitters and I don't have what's Reddit and all of those little things going on. Just Facebook and YouTube. I might get into some more of that social media stuff, but like, I'd rather try to uh, utilize my time to make good videos and, and slowly but surely build up knowledge about those things. My little walking trail's completely covered over now. <laughs> now I'm just walking along this concrete thing. Eww. Whoa, and that's not very nice for your ankles. Oh, nearly slipped over. Smashed my camera on its first adventure. <laughs> yeah, so the other thing is like uh, steps. So this is a step now, this GoPro camera that I'm using. It's the first time I've actually taken it out on an adventure. Ah, uh, look at this. See what I can come across on my adventures. And finally, I get an up close picture of a turtle. Yeah, look at this. Hey turtle. How you doing? Hi. 
Yeah. So I don't know what kind of turtle that is. But he's just sitting here on the, on the concrete, chilling out, hiding inside his shower because I'm scaring the crap out of him. I've seen lots of them in the water in the wild and seen them scurry off into the water. He might be really sick because he ain't scurrying anywhere. So this is just like uh, me doing some cinematography experimentation. Don't you like the fancy words? Um, yeah, so little steps, doing things in steps. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not a motivational talker either, but you know, gotta put some kind of content on a video, huh? So. Like, I'm not like one of these people saying, I have found the ultimate secret to success and everybody should do it this way. Not at all. Not at all like that. Those people are such knobheads, if you ask me. Really? Oh, now I make $130 million a year and I fly all over the world and I do all these wonderful things and I got with sexy women hanging off both arms. These people are so dead. So dead. And the devil's going to give them whatever they want so they can convince other people to become so dead. <laughs> Probably foxes and things in here as well. Um... Another spider web, spider webs everywhere, to be quite honest. All right, come out to a bit of a clearing. <laughs> What's going on? Been a long walk. Some more spider webs. And we got these people. What have we discovered here? So I've come out here into a clearing, grasses on my hiking and there's these people here and they got like remote control planes they've basically created themselves a, an airfield <laughs> yeah. that's free pool stuff look at that Soyo. they got their planes and everything man how cool is that that's pretty radical <laughs> they're probably not supposed to be here but they're here that is so cool, man. <laughs> That's free pool, man. They just use this public land. They've mowed all the grass. It's so cool. <laughs> it's wicked. Obviously, they haven't, got, they haven't got all the permits and stuff. They've just done it. They just came here. They've done it. And this is the thing that they do. I live in Japan, right? And when I came to Japan, I had about a little bit of money left. Not much. Not much, really a little bit um, and my wife and I started a business teaching English school but I didn't just suddenly one day make an English school I uh, was working for the an English school for about six months I guess only learning how to teach English as a foreign language and I couldn't even speak Japanese but I was teaching English to people. And then I learned how much these customers were paying. Anyway, anyway, I started my English school and I built it in steps. Didn't just build it overnight. It was built in step, 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 but it didn't take too long doing it step form. Maybe about one year and then two years to get it really cranking. One year to make a livelihood and two years to get it cranking. And it cranks well. But there is kind of a limited market base for it. You know, there's a saturation of the market anyway. Now, I'm not actually making my uh, vlogs to make money. I just do it for fun. Yeah, so things I've got to do in steps on my vlogging. One, I'm not going to spend loads and loads of money. That's why I only bought a Hero 5 and not a Hero 6. But if the channel can generate some revenue then I can 
buy more stuff for my vlogging like a helicopter yeah might do a GoFundMe but I haven't really thought about it lots but I'm not really you know like it's not really the kind of thing I want to do but if you got like a product or something and you want to sponsor it or something you know I'll put it on my show what you gotta do is you gotta send me the product and uh, you know you got a, a little bit of cash not lots just a little you know 20 bucks whatever <laughs> Maybe I should have a go funding for the cash transfers or st stuff like that. Anyway, anyway, so what you people, what I'm saying is you people are watching me build my vlog why I build it. And I have no idea how to build a vlog. But I'm going to do it anyway. It's time now to look at the possibilities of doing other things. With my um, video vlogs that I've been making. And move them into the to get more eyes on them and to get more eyes on them I need your help I can't do it without your help all right so go to my YouTube channel if you can don't forget to like subscribe put a comment in the box below and share oi oi you it's me your friend Gargamel Simon doesn't know this but I'm hiding somewhere in this video. Be the first one to find me. Have a nice day.